today is the last day of a full Halloween home decor hunting day for the 2024 season. There might be a couple of things here and there that I forget. I always forget spider webs. No matter how many times I write it down, I have like a little notepad of the things that are I really want to find today. Target is first on my list. I haven't seen their entire lineup yet. Obviously, I want to see the neon explosion and their kitchenware too. I think it's called stoneware. I saw on their website last night that they had this gothic collection had like appetizer plates, a cake stand, a couple of platters, and platters are on my list of things to do for my tablescaping. Basically, I need some platters. I need a couple of plates. I'm gonna make my own napkins. For my charcuterie board, I am looking for a couple of just like small containers, but also they have lids on it. Right now, I'm at Home Goods, which is right next to Marshall's too. It's a little bit hit or miss at those places right now, just since they've had the Halloween stuff out for so long. Pretty much everything is, I'm not gonna say it's gone. There is some stuff, but definitely the kitchenware has, it has seen its season and now it is out of there. But I didn't know the pieces that I wanted for my tablescaping until last night. Yeah, I know it's a little bit late. It's like the last couple of weeks in September and I'm just now figuring out what I want to do with my tablescaping. So let's go into Home Goods for the very last time. Well, I shouldn't even say the very last time, but the very last full day of specifically Halloween home decor hunting for the 2024 season. <laughs> Found a couple of items at Home Goods that I just did not think I was gonna find. This one, which is the mini covered baker and bamboo spreader. They're just these tiny little crockeries. Last year I got one to bake up my brie and I thought that was the only thing I was gonna use it for. No, I use them for literally everything. If I do a variety of veggies, I like roast them all up, I have them separate in here so you can kind of like mix and match as you're going. It does say that it's oven safe up to 350 degrees so it is a little bit limited with what type of things I can actually bake in the oven but normally it's like I said either I have cheese in it or the veggies are already done. So I have found this one which is the tiny little ghost. There was two of them. There was also a pumpkin one and there's one with a mushroom on it which was super freaking cute. 
But I wanted to stay with the theme that I had last year. So I got this tiny one with a skull on it. The black stoneware, I just wanted to stick with that. The pumpkin one, I almost got it. But especially with the things that I found at Target too and the direction that I'm kind of going with all of my kitchenware this year, I just wanted to stay with the black. So if I happen to go into a home goods anytime from now until the end of October, I'll go ahead and look for it, but I'm not gonna specifically go to Home Goods just to check this out. Like this was, like I said, this was the last time and I'm actually really happy with everything that I found. It would've been nice to have three because then at Target, their whole stoneware, I really, really loved that. I got this little coffin serving platter. It's a slate coffin serving board. Hand wash only. I'm probably gonna sew something to go underneath it, just since my table is so dark. And then putting this on top of it, I want some sort of orange popping out. So I might have to quilt like a quick little table runner to put that underneath. But then I wanted to set these on this. So they're all gonna be on here in a row. That's why I really wanted three. I would have been so perfect. But I do have a giant pumpkin crockery. So whenever I'm doing soup or pasta or anything like that, I can set that in the middle and we have like just the two on the side. Then I did end up getting the cake platter. I don't bake a ton. I just thought this was super cute. And if it doesn't work for my tablescaping this year, I mean, obviously the theme, it's gonna go together, but if I don't really have a use for it as like a functioning piece, I can always move it onto my barista bar, set that there, put some coffee cups on it. There we go. Like it's not going to be put away. It's gonna go somewhere in my kitchen. I just haven't quite figured out where. I could also use that as my charcuterie goodies, especially when I do the dinner and the pumpkin meal. Totally I'm gonna do that here, probably not tonight. I don't have all the ingredients, but sometime this week because I went to Trader Joe's and they did have pie pumpkins. I snagged four of them, which is gonna, I'm gonna be good for a while now on the pie pumpkins. In that same line, I got some of the appetizer plates, or I think they're called dessert plates actually. No, they're appetizer plates, stoneware appetizer plates. These are actually dishwasher and microwave safe. What I meant to get was two of the spiders and two of the snakes and just kind of alternate that way. But I accidentally grabbed, instead of the spider, I just, it was stacked underneath the spider. It was a pumpkin. It's not terrible. I just didn't like it as much as the spiders. At least they go together, like the theme goes and everything. When I looked at a different Target, they didn't have any of these spiders. They only had the snakes and the pumpkin. So I don't know, these might be sold out already, but this looks really good on the coffin slate too. All these pieces, they just interact with each other really well. The miniature pumpkins, like the decorative pumpkins, squash, acorn squash, that stuff is out there too. I will probably go back and get a couple of those. I do have, I really need to go through all my recipes too. That's just what I need to do and figure out what I want to have as a menu throughout October. I mean, we just have so many good foods that come out this time of year especially vegetables that I wanna make sure I get all of my favorites. I just grabbed one bag of these. I'll probably end up going back because these I will decorate as a tablescape just to have in the kitchen. I also want a few in the movie room. Yeah, actually some of my barista too. So this won't be enough. Did find some pumpkin tea. Trader Joe pumpkin spice herbal blend. Warm and inviting beverage. I don't know, I liked the tin and also it's tea. There we go. Hello. Welcome. I haven't tried their pumpkin tea yet. I did get some almond milk too. Whenever I do pumpkin tea, I like to have just some steamed almond milk to go with it. I can open this up easily. I just want to see what they look like and also the smell. Oh, mmm, that's really good. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is really pumpkin-y. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this with the almond milk. Probably gonna be my new nighttime beverage. And, oh, the rest of this is all just full of pie pumpkins. I actually might roast one of these off tonight, just since I'm in such a good mood after finding these. I want my house to smell like pumpkins right now. I did get one more thing from Home Goods. I forgot about these. So the bake shop, another thing that I was not expecting them to have left. These little tiny ramekins, a set of four for $5.99. I have some spiderweb ones, but a couple of them have broke from last year. 
And I like using these trail mix and stuff in it. Also when I'm baking, if I have a bunch of spices mixed up, this is just a great little vessel to have that all ready to go. That way I can just like, boom, go. I don't have to be running all over the place with everything. Today is the very first day of fall and I woke up to it saying that it was 55 degrees out. Just perfect fall weather. Opened all the windows. I feel like they've just been closed for a while because it's been so hot, humid. That's really what it has been. Like the heat is totally fine, but humidity, especially with my cats, they would not enjoy that. So today is the first day that we're just kind of letting some fresh air come into the house. Decided to make some of the pumpkin tea. I made it last night and was kind of playing around with it. And this is exactly how I like it. So I'm not really a sweetener type of person. I just steeped the tea in half water. I think this is like 12 ounces. So half water, steep the tea, and then frothed up some almond milk and that's it. And it actually makes a really pretty color too. It's like pumpkin-y orange. I don't know, I wasn't expecting it to have that. All in all, big fan of this tea. Definitely will be going back to get some. I have a couple of things planned for the day. I have a bunch of herbs that I need to start drying out. So for my simmer pot, I have basically two herbs fresh at any time, and that's thyme and rosemary. I like to dry some of those out just to have them. Also, it makes the house smell amazing too as they're drying. So I have a huge pan that I need to go through there. I'll go through and make them all of the leaves that fall out or I can't hang them up because they're too short or for whatever reason. Normally I end up with a nice little pile and I can start my official fall simmer pot. I do have some oranges, some cinnamon. I don't think I have any apples. That's the only thing. I normally like to have that in there as well. That's okay. It can be a little different variety today. Another thing I did last night before I went to bed, I baked off one of the pie pumpkins just in case I have time to make some pumpkin bread today. That is one of my all-time favorite things to have at the end of the night, especially with a little tea or coffee but I think it's gonna be amazing with this. So hopefully I have time. I also have a bunch of the pumpkin seeds to roast off, which even if I don't get to the pumpkin bread, I do wanna do the seeds cause it's just gonna make the house smell even more amazing. Basically fall explosion. That's what's gonna happen in my house here today. Still taking a little bit of a rest from crocheting just to kind of heal my hand a little bit. It feels a million times better than it did, I think it was two days ago that I ended up hurting it. When I move it, no pain at all whatsoever, which is good. So we're going in the right direction, but I think I'm gonna give it at least one more day and then I'll start crocheting again tomorrow. It's been the hardest thing to not crochet, but I just know if I do it and it's not fully healed, then it's just gonna take a lot longer in order to heal. I didn't have anything major planned. I really just wanted to work on a couple of my blankets. Oh, I do have to hang up my new cinnamon broom. And as always, I'll have practical magic going in the background. That is just a given on the very first day of fall. The soundtrack alone is enough to really get me into fall spirit. But especially today, since I'm making herb bundles and my cinnamon broom, like everything all together, it's just gonna be such a great day.
me, I have to really be in the mood to bake. And obviously today I was because this pumpkin bread turned out absolutely beautiful. The outside had a little bit of a crunch to it. The inside is super soft, made some cinnamon butter to go with it. Figured, oh, I'll just have like a tasty little treat throughout the week. No, this is probably by tomorrow. It's gonna all be gone. But thinking ahead, I threw in another pumpkin. So that is in the oven right now cooking away that way in the morning, if I feel like I'm in the mood for bake again, either some more pumpkin bread or, I mean, there's so many other pumpkin things. If I would have had more pumpkin, I totally would have made something else, but I only had that one cup and it was like perfect too. Um, well, you saw it was right on the level of a cup. While I'm waiting for that pie pumpkin to finish up, I do have some movies to watch tonight. Just since I can't crochet, I'm just gonna go through some of the movies that didn't make it onto my 100 Nights to Halloween movie marathon list. First off, we have Blade. It's a classic. Never get tired of it, especially in VHS form. And the back of it is so cool. It has the sticker for Blockbuster, like the rental sticker so they could scan it. And this was one of the very first ones that I found. It was like 99 cents. I've watched it quite a bit. Did I rewind it? No, I totally didn't. Species, another classic. I don't really think of Halloween when I think of species. It's just kind of year round type of watch for me. This is Species 2. I don't know where the first one is at. I do have that. I think I have it in DVD form actually. This is one that I haven't seen, but so many people have told me that I need to watch this. So I'm gonna give it a go tonight. The Orphanage, it's 105 minutes. Found it out thrifting, I don't know, probably months ago. And so it's just been sitting here and waiting. Since I can't crochet, let's go ahead and give it a go. Destroy All Neighbors, it's a Shudder original. It seems super campy. I've heard very polarizing things. Either people loved it or they absolutely hated it. But I wanna ask the people that said, no, I hated it, it was just the absolute worst. Do they like campy horror? Because there are, I mean, definitely everybody likes their own genre, right? And some people really don't like campy horror. In which case, I feel like maybe don't watch this one. A gore-covered tornado of a movie. It just seems like something I would love. Hollers Alone. I mean, we got a lot of neon going on here. Whether or not I enjoy it, this is definitely gonna be one that's gonna stay in my movie collection here just because I love the artwork. I do that with books too. I have a couple that I just really adored the artwork on it but didn't like the book. I feel like we can just appreciate it for what it is, you know? So that is my movie stack for tonight. I'm just gonna hang out here in the movie room, watch these, probably have a couple other pieces of pumpkin bread. Oh yeah, also the pumpkin seeds. I forgot about those though. We might alternate. Hopefully it'll last at least until the morning anyway. But thanks for hanging out with me today, enjoying the very first day of fall. I hope you have a super spooky rest of your night and I will see you ghouls tomorrow. Mm -hmm.